In this video, we're going to discuss how to use BrainPop to reinforce curriculum through direct instruction, student centers, and also through an intervention session within the classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my course, and I'm going to notice that on the left-hand side, I've already installed BrainPop as an application in Schoology. BrainPop can also be used as an external resource, but most functionality will be better served if it is done within the Schoology platform. Once I click on BrainPop, you'll notice that the application appears within Schoology itself. There is audio for this, but I've gone ahead and muted that so that we can narrate through my process here. Let's pretend that I'm an 8th grade algebra teacher and I'm interested in getting more information about polynomials. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Math. And I'm an algebra teacher, and I'm looking specifically for information about polynomials. You'll notice also there's a search bar. I can type in polynomials here and get some more detailed information that way. But in this case, I can find this here. I'm going to go ahead and click on polynomials. And you'll notice that there's a movie that I can have students watch. There are also quiz opportunities. There are concept maps. I can assign the students then an option to make their own movie. I have a game feature where I can embed a game into the student's experiences. There are other some resources here, and then I can also embed other activities and assign them to students. Let's pretend in this case that I'm interested in having the students make a movie regarding polynomials. I'm going to click on make a movie. And it gives me an option to do so. But then I can go here. I can either answer a letter or I can write a new activity for students. I can teach with this, or I can assign it for the students. In this case, I'm going to assign it. Now, I don't have any active classes. At this point, it would give me options for classes, and I would assign this activity directly to the students. So when they logged in, it would identify it as an assignment for them. Let's take a look at some of the other features that are available to us through BrainPop. You'll notice that I have apps, options to make a quiz for them. Again, I can create my own quiz or I can assign this one to them and it gives me a chance to take a look at how students have been doing. Student activities are always charted and monitored through BrainPop which makes it very simplistic for us to provide differentiation and adapt our curriculum to meet the needs of those students. The last thing we're going to look at regarding BrainPop is this search feature that I mentioned earlier. Let's say instead of going through and looking at the unit, I am interested in learning more about polynomials by using this search feature. Well, you'll notice the topic immediately comes up, but I also get specific resources for my search function. In this case, I have a game that I can look at, and I can also search some educators' resources for more information. This will give me more information regarding a specific topic rather than looking through the units and browsing. For more information about how to use BrainPop within Schoology or to use BrainPop in general, contact your ITTS and we'd be happy to help.